Welcome to a place where people are rigorously tested. A place that tests a person both physically and mentally. A place where some pass, but most fail. Welcome to... The Mercury Laboratories. Welcome to the Mercury Laboratories. Today is our fourth test, which is appropriate tiled Escape 4. And to be honest, us here at the Mercury Laboratories is tired of people getting a high success rate, since after all, more than 50% of the people who have ever taken on the Escape test have made it to the final stage. So we decided to make the course a lot harder, and we invited the only two people to make it to the final stage all three times, 22 and 17, to take on the course. For stage 1, 22 and 17 will have 1 minute 25 seconds to get through the obstacle course and penalties will deduct 10 seconds from their time. First, test subjects will have to get past the rock path, then the number cruncher EXQ, then it's the metal track, followed by the super hurdles, the deceptor, the number cruncher EXA, the heavenly delivery, and finally, the rope climb. How will they do? Up first is test subject number 22. In both test 1 and test 3, he managed to beat the final stage. Let's see if he can do it all again one more time. He gives a pose, and he gets ready for the signal to start. 3, 2, 1, finish. And he sets off. Starts on the rock path, getting across alternating bricks, right onto the number cruncher EXQ. His question is, what is 58 plus 60? He's got to memorize the answer to that number, and he'll answer it later on in the course in the number cruncher EXA. Now he's on the middle track, he's got to get across without knocking over either of the bars, and he does that very nicely. Now into the super hurdles. First is a slanted hurdle that has a gap both on the front and the back, so you have to be very careful when traversing this. He gets across, then it's the original hurdle with a gap in the front, and uh, he looks a little timid crossing this, and he gets over. About 45 seconds of the clock, he's now onto the scepter, keeping his balance very nicely, gets to the end, and now to answer his question, he gets onto the bar, and he answers 118, and that is indeed correct. Now onto the heavenly delivery. Now with this one, you gotta grab the can with your feet, and then travel to the end and drop it in the box. If the can does not live, land in the box, you are get a penalty, and oh, just like that, he gets a penalty, and now he's down to 10 seconds. I should remind everyone that it's very cold Five, right now. Four, he, he looks like. Three, two, one. And, oh! <laughs> oh, he came very close, but in a shocking revelation, he has timed out. It appears that both the extreme cold that we're experiencing and just the course, it, it just tired him out. He was a little too timid at one point, and uh, he looks very disappointed. That's too bad. Now here is test subject number 17. In the past, he has made it to the final stage on all three occasions, but he has come very close, but not actually beating it. And he looks three, ready. He looks pop. Two, one, finish. Onto the rock path. He's getting across. Oh, almost had a stumble. And uh, oh, uh, apparently he has forgotten a rule that he was told that he had to jump to the platform. So he took a five second penalty. Anyway. A 10 second penalty. So anyway, his num question is 84 plus 39. Let's see if he can remember it. He's getting across uh, the metal track very nicely. Now on to the hurdles. This is what played a big factor in 22 losing. He's very slow here. And 17 flying through the super hurdles. No problem. Saving him a lot of time. Only slightly behind the pace that 22 is at, at the moment. Now he has to answer 84 39. He answers 123 and that is indeed correct. Now into the heavenly delivery, he grabs the can, tries it, oh, and he drops it. Wasn't able to hold on with his feet. He has 10 seconds left. Will he be able to get up the rope in time? And he's struggling. And he makes it. He makes it with 3.2 seconds left. 17 survives. We'll be moving on to stage two. The journey continues for test subject number 17. And he sure does look happy.
two men started the first stage, but only one of them passed. 17 survive and 22 is going home. Next time, test subject number 17 takes on the second stage. Will his journey continue or will this test end early? Tune in next time to find out.